So the tallest bridge in the world is set to open. That's almost twice the height of the Eiffel Tower. Imagine stepping out onto a slender ribbon of steel, suspended 625 meters above a roaring river, twice the height of the Eiffel Tower, with nothing but air between your feet and the canyon floor. That's the promise of China's Huajiang Canyon Bridge, set to redefine what's possible in human engineering. This isn't just another crossing, it's a jaw-dropping statement of ambition, a testament to our drive to conquer even the most forbidding landscapes, and an invitation to reimagine the limits of infrastructure. From the moment surveyors first peered into the dizzying depths of Guizhou province, they saw more than a chasm, they saw potential. Over 92% of this region is a labyrinth of jagged peaks and precipitous cliffs, where generations endured day-long detours, rocky footpaths, and rickety rope bridges to trade goods or visit neighbors. The Huajiang Canyon was the final barrier on the G56 Hangzhou Ruili Expressway, the vital artery linking eastern metropolises to southwestern frontiers. By slicing a one-hour drive down to a single minute, this bridge will forever rewrite daily life for remote villages. Engineers faced a canyon more than a kilometre across, impossible to support with pillars, so they chose a suspension design. Two massive towers, one 262 metres tall and the other 205 metres, rise from deep, fractured bedrock secured by precision drilled piles and earthquake-resistant steel. Between them, thick main cables stretch like taut strings, carrying a 1,420-metre deck that floats above the roaring gorge. Those cables flex in high winds to absorb gusts, while embedded sensors in the roadway constantly track stress and temperature shifts. A weatherproof coating protects every steel surface from acidic rain and mist, and carefully engineered expansion joints allow the structure to expand and contract as day turns to night. Rather than a simple route across, this bridge stands as a dynamic work of engineering, its sleek span seamlessly linking two cliffs and offering drivers an unobstructed vista of the canyon below. Talking about numbers, the total length clocks in at 2,890 metres, nearly three kilometres of unbroken passage. Nearly 49,000 tonnes of high-strength steel form the superstructure. 40,000 tonnes are already in place. The truss segments alone weigh over 21,000 tonnes combined, equivalent to two Eiffel Towers worth of metal. Yet it's not brute force alone that made this possible. Each segment was slid into position by the world's largest cable crane system, guided by China's Beidou navigation satellites and a network of IoT sensors. What once required 20 hands now takes two operators at a console. Building at such heights demanded more than heavy machinery. Sudden valley winds can gust up to hurricane strength, and temperatures swing wildly between day and night. To tame these elements, solar-powered anemometers feed real-time data to a smart control center, allowing crews to adjust lift speeds or pause operations at the slightest hint of danger. Foundations were bored into weathered rock layers using precision drilling and reinforced with earthquake-resistant steel bars. Materials arrive in modular kits by truck and helicopter, then snap together on site like gigantic Lego blocks, minimizing environmental disturbance in this pristine canyon. Despite its technical prowess, the bridge is also a triumph of aesthetic harmony. The towers take cues from art deco motifs, evoking the elegance of San Francisco's Golden Gate, while embracing a distinctly futuristic silhouette. Underneath slender cables fan out like the strings of a harp, casting shifting shadows over the canyon walls. Promotional plans already include glass bottom walkways, extreme sports platforms, and a stargazing deck perched atop one tower, transforming a mere thoroughfare into a visitor magnet. But the real magic lies in its human impact. Once the bridge opens in mid-2025, farmers who once spent dawn to dusk on steep mountain roads will have 24-hour access to markets, schools, and hospitals. Tour operators can package day trips from nearby cities, spotlighting hidden waterfalls and fossil parks that, until now, were all but inaccessible. Small towns will see new guest houses, coffee shops and artisan stalls spring up as curious travellers seek the thrill of crossing the world's loftiest span. Economically, the Huajian Canyon Bridge is poised to ripple far beyond Guizhou. As part of the G56 corridor, it will streamline cargo flow between China and Southeast Asia cutting fuel costs, shortening delivery times, 
and lowering carbon footprints. Multinational logistics firms are already eyeing the route, while local entrepreneurs plan crafts, cooperatives and eco-lodges. In a region once defined by isolation, connectivity becomes empowerment. Of course, even the boldest projects face hurdles. Ongoing maintenance at dizzying altitudes will require specialised crews and drones. Corrosion from misty canyon air must be vigilantly monitored. And as tourism grows, sustainable management will be critical to preserving the canyon's fragile ecosystems. Yet if the bridge's construction is any guide, today's obstacles will be tomorrow's triumphs. Soon, when you gaze upon the precipitous drop beneath Huajiang Canyon Bridge, you'll realise it's more than a marvel of steel and cable. It's a story of transformation. Mountains once seen as barriers are now gateways. Travel that meant sacrifice now comes in a single minute. What was once unimaginable becomes everyday reality. As the final segments click into place and the first car rolls across, we'll witness not just the completion of the world's highest bridge, but the opening of a new chapter in how humanity moves, connects and dreams.